other previous videos, but I'm going to do a short video on um, being hurt. Um, I know I've mentioned this a few times with this past year, but I just thought I'd be a good time since I watched a video and it just pointed out many helpful, you know, advice and things what to do when people have hurt you. <sighs> Where to begin? Um, I'm not trying to focus on the negatives that have happened in my life. I'm just trying to help people that are going through similar situations. And, you know, it, it gets tough when people have dramatically hurt you and used you and abused you, whether it's psychologically abuse, mentally, physically. And it's like, how do you get past that? How do you get past waking up and feeling like everybody hates you? Feeling like, you know, nothing is good enough. And no matter how well you try to mend things, and then they bring your guilt trips up. <sighs> so if you've experienced that, I'm talking to you. <laughs> you lucky person and special person. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to do this the best I can. Um, like recently, I just in this year, 2018, started off rough. Um, I, I'm not here to criticize family. I'm just here to be a, a help to others. Family are difficult people. Family are very complicated sometimes. And I've learned through the things just in the last week about family is, there's love and hate, and there's an attachment. And like I said in the video, you can't say you love someone when your actions don't prove it. And I don't want to make it sound like I'm sorry, woe is me kind of video, but just, just make you stop and think. Um, I, I've gone through a lot of things, so when I get hurt by others, when I get put down by others and they're being judgmental, me, it doesn't come as a surprise, honestly, and the things that led up to the whole drama on Facebook when family members were attacking me for just doing a GoFund page, for goodness sake, it was just an idea. Um, but yeah, what do, what do I learn from that? What do I take on the, just the hurt, just the knowing that you're family, but yet you're not being supportive. And you know, when I mean support, I'm not talking about financially support, um, being there to cheer you on through the good times and the bad. Family can be supportive. And it doesn't mean you have to agree on every little diddly things in your life. You know what I mean? You don't have to agree on those things. Whether you wear pants, whether you wear dresses, pants, or whatever. You know, you don't have to agree. But we should be support. And... It was the hardest thing to tell my family, some of them, not all of them, I cannot be friends with you. I'm not saying for the social media. I, I can't have you in my life if you're going to cause havoc, if you're going to cause drama. And if you really knew what I went through, if you really understood what I've gone through for almost the last five years in my life, and you really sat there as it was you going through that, you would understand. I, I don't do things for the heck of it. I, I don't put myself out there for the world to feel sorry for me and pity my life and woe is me. Sometimes I do things out of does someone care? Because I've had a lot of crap on my shoulders, on my head. I was born in it. You know, when I was born, 
I was covered in poop. I'm just going to be clear and blunt with you. I was born in poop. So pretty much crap. But that doesn't mean it has to define me. That doesn't mean your nasty comments and your ridicule and your guilt trips have to affect me. But it does. In some cases, yes, it affects me. But I'm here to tell any of you or people in general that you don't have to let people hurt you. And yes, they're going to hurt you, but you don't have to just hold on to the bitterness, what they brought to your life and say, from a distance, I'm going to love you. From a distance, I'm going to show compassion. I may not like what you're doing, but I'm surely going to love you. And that's one thing I just wish some people would understand what true love is. You know, like when people use the term, how can you love that person when they killed your child? How can you love that person when they raped you? How can you love that person when they abused you over and over and over? How can you? And I'm not trying to get all religious up here. I'm just telling you from experience. What if you were that person and no one gave a crap about you? And yes, your actions were wrong. And there's no excuse for wrong behavior. There's no excuse for someone to go out and murder people. But what if you were that murderer? Would you want people to at least show a love? That's what's missing right there. Love. And not just this, oh, I love you. I'm, I'm your family. I'm going to support you. You know, that's what family does. They support each other. No, true love. When I am being mean to you, when I am being a jerk to you, when you feel like I did you wrong, you love me still. And not just use it half-heartedly. I heard that crap. I'm over that. But love me when I'm being selfish. Love me when I'm being an idiot. And I'm here to tell you, if you feel like I mistreated you, if you feel like I did you wrong, I'm sorry. But you know what? That does not give me the right to not forgive you. That doesn't give me the right to be bitter at you, but to love you. Because if you were in my shoes, wouldn't you want that at least? Is love? But you don't have to accept their behavior. Just love them for Pete's sake. That's what we need. That's what's going to change humanity's ideas. So when you put love in your view cap and compassion, you will even be able to say to that murderer who did a horrible thing, I love you. I don't like what you...